You have a camera, you can go shoot. It doesn't matter what camera you have. You have to become trained visually. Gears doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's the end result you get what matters. Yeah, but full frame is better in low light. You never seen even pro cinematographers or commercials or whatever they do, they don't go to a location without lights. Pro cinematographer, they care lights with them. A lavalier microphone. The cable is long enough. Why and when are you shooting with a 50 mm lens? When 25? When to shoot white? If I film with a 25 mm and I get close, my nose will look even bigger. With a 56 mm, I can move back and I will have a more compressed. But the full frame camera has a better depth of field. When it's too blurry, you don't even know where I am, what this is behind me. For instance, this lens has a 1.4 aperture, but I'm filming in 2.0. So I don't have so much blurriness in the background that doesn't look always good. Nice, even more. Yeah, it's too much. Still too much. I tap white balance, all right? We have a natural white balance automatically, or maybe I don't like it like that, so I can go ahead and try something different. This is good for outside when it's sunny, okay? As more you go up, the more it becomes warm. And this gives you already the look you almost want. When you go home and you edit your footage, you can make a few adjustments and it's perfect. This camera, the GH5, has so much to offer. So much that I think it is still overpowered for many people, even for me, and they already want to sell the camera to get the newer one. And I will stick with the GH5 until it breaks. In bad weather conditions, I had no issues and I'm filming with that camera since six years. You have to be careful with rain. If it's just a little bit, okay, you, you can handle it. You don't have to go swim with the camera. If you own an S5 or a Sony, perfect, man, this is your perfect camera. For the Micro Four Thirds camera, for this Panasonic camera, I know it has not a very good dynamic range so I don't push it to the limit. When to switch to Cine D mode, when to switch to V-Log. I only switch to Cine D when I have a brighter sky, when I need a little bit more of dynamic range. Exposed for the skies, the shadows will look too dark. So I can switch to Cine D, switch down a little bit the contrast, and I'm there. It doesn't work for everything. Push the ISO up in Cine D mode, you will end up with a lot of noise in the shadows. White shots looks good from the distance. You will not notice anything. You will not notice any distortion on my face so much. Did you see that out of focus? 